Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nady. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup routine. I'm really excited to do it. But before, let's just take a break, like, comment, and if you're new here and you're not a subscriber, subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so you can see all the video that i post but let me just tell you something my makeup routine is basically the same i don't change very often i i'm very monotonous and consistent with my makeup routine but i actually want to try a couple new things so if you have any suggestions that you want me to try any makeup routine you want me to try just let me know i'll do it gladly so let's just get into my makeup routine I start my makeup right with my face. I don't really use a primer. I normally just use a good moisturizer because a good moisturized face is a flawless makeup. I normally use the Nivea one. Um, can you guys see? So it's just basically a regular face moisturizer that I use. And I just apply like in tree spots, which I apply my makeup mainly, especially under my eyes because I look a lot. The next step is the foundation. I normally use the Fenty Beauty Pro filter, but today we're using Dior Backstage, which I'm really excited to use. It. And my shade is normally the four, but I am on summer makeup, summer foundation, so I'm using the shade 45W. So let's just go with the foundation. I make sure that the foundation match my neck and my chest rather than my face because my face is the lightest part of my body. So I just want like everything be the same color and my face since it's the lightest part it won't match my neck or my chest. After using the brush I just go with the beauty blender. Sorry my beauty blender is very dirty. I have to wash everything because you know I've been using quite a lot lately so it's kind of dirty and I did not have time to clean them up. But make sure you clean your brushes in beauty blender. As you can see, the foundation match my neck and my chest very well. So let's just go to the concealer. I use two concealers, Fenty Beauty Concealer, Pro Filter, and the shades are 290 and 185. So I use the lighter shade in the middle. And then the darkest shade on the sides. This is my concealer placement. And to blend, I use the Real Technique concealer brush. All of the brushes in sponge are from Real Technique. I start using the brush in the middle part, which is the lightest part. I start blending it. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I go to the inner corner of the eye with the same brush and blend in it. I do apply the concealer near my eyebrows and then try to go to the eyelid. Before I blend the rest of the concealer, I just go with the contour from True Complexion Contour Palette. This is from Walgreens 
and I do use the contour and the sculpture at the same time. I mix it. And now for the rest of the concealer placement, I'm just gonna use the 402 to blend everything. And then I use the same brush just to smooth everything around. I follow up with the blush. This is the Revolution Fast Base Blush. It's a blush stick. It's very pigmented, so I just go with the brush and just apply it a bit. Can you guys see how pigmented it is? And then I go with the same Real Technique Concealer Brush of 402 and just move around. And then I go with the Huda Beauty Baking and Setting Powder. This is the shade Banana Bread. I start setting before I bake, so I just can apply not much. I'm going with this Real Technique brush, the 400, just to make sure I take the excess. And the next step of my makeup routine, it's my eyebrows. I'm using the Kiko Milano um, eyebrow pencil and it's the shade number two. I just start brushing them off. And... It's a challenge for me to do my eyebrows recording or talking. So this part, I have kind of have to do off camera. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean it up like the excess. This part is very important. So I kind of have to look up at the mirror and make sure I'm focused. So give me a second. Okay, I did it. So it next to it on my makeup routine, it's baking my face with the Huda Beauty Baking Powder, Banana Bread as well. The same one that I used to set my face. And while my face is baking, I normally do my lip liner, which I normally use the Primark eyebrow pencil, the black one, and the MAC lip liner cork. So these two are my lip combo. MAC lip liner and Primark eyebrow pencil. I start with the dark one, with the black one, and I just... Follow up, I take the excess of powder with this morph brush. I will have to hold my breath till you get down on one knee. Now I'm just gonna fix the overline of my lip liners with my foundation. And then the next step is my eyeliner. I'll go with this iconic London eyeliner. It's so freaking cute. It's like a mini version of it. It's so good. I just just love it. It's just so freaking cute. Anyways, I just like literally just one thought. He said that I'm good enough. I'm not good enough. Think about shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that and just to touch up, I go with the same um blush. Just a bit. Just to give me color back. And from the contour palette, I do have a highlighter as well. So I just gonna go a bit and touch it up as well.
I do like me some glow, so I put extra. My makeup routine is almost over, but before we have still three steps. And the next step is the setting spray, which I use the Sephora setting spray, 60 hour setting spray. Now I'm trying a new mascara, I normally use a Kiko Milano one but now I'm trying this Givenchy mascara, the Storbia is really good, this is a small size, it is so nice when I tell you this, my lashes like be looking so thick and so nice, I just love it just wait and see now it's about to get serious because my mascara trick as I just lift my eye a bit and I just apply mascara now could you guys see the difference like there's a huge difference like you can see the thickness and it just looks so freaking nice I just love it and I haven't used it like a curler, a lash curler or anything. This is just a mascara and I only use like one top. Like basically I just use it once. I didn't even top it up twice. Let me just do the other eye and I'll show you guys again so you can see it's just amazing. The only thing about it I feel like um, it, it's not transfer proof because every time like my lashes touch like my lid it gets a little bit with the mascara but yeah cannot be perfect right i'm just gonna show you real time so you can see that is just one like i'm just applying once System and I'm trying to give a fuck Cause I'ma love you tonight And hate you when I wake up Girl, do you feel how I'm feeling? Baby, give me some love And the last step on my makeup routine Is finishing my lips with lip glosses I just love lip glosses Just give them more like More juicy lips vibe Just It just hype the makeup It makes it look better And I do use three lip glosses Cause one is not enough So I have to use three and I start with the H&M Showstopper Lip Gloss I do have this one for I think a quite a while, one year because I every year I just buy it from H&M I buy it in Portugal but I'll try to find the link and put it below um, and yeah I just love it, I started with this one and then I go with the Fenty Art Chocolate Lip Gloss and yeah, just apply it as much as possible. And then I go off with the last lip gloss, which is the H&M lip gloss as well. I don't remember the name and it's basically done. You can see I don't have nothing in there anymore, but I have to restock it. But just love it. It looks so nice and it's shimmer. Can you, let me just show you. I already have residues. So this is the final result of my makeup routine. It just looks so flawless, so elegant, so soft and put together really. I just love it so much. I do it all the time this is the makeup routine i use always always non-stop but i want to try something new so make sure you comment below 
tips, tricks, and if you know about any makeup routine do you want me to try, don't forget to comment below and don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell because you can get the notification when my videos come in. But thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias and see you guys in the next video. I love.